some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Haskell County, Oklahoma, where a family of solved cards gets in a fight with a, uh, another group and the police are called. And because they are sovereign citizens, shenanigans ensue. They claim to have diplomatic immunity. They also claim to be protected by the Universal Commercial Code. And they have a fee schedule that where they demand 10,000 silver coins as reimbursement for their time. So, wow, we got a pack of morons here. So, why don't we sit back, relax, and enjoy the show? <laughs> We're not acting like a fool. No, we're not. I was calming down. Nobody's acting like a fool here. We didn't ask for your help. None of your business. We don't have names. Well, I would have a few choice names for you, but they'd probably get me demonetized. If anybody has an idea of what they want to call these Karens, be my guest and put them in the comments below. Let's go. Let's go! You fucking shit. What did I tell you? Yeah. We're all right. You can go on. Yeah, that's fine. This is our truck. Hey, let me explain something. It is my business. Hey, when wait, I get phone calls. sir, I didn't no, ask no. for your help. Hey, it don't matter. Who I'm are the, you? I'm the sheriff of the county, who I am. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But we didn't ask for your help. I don't care if you ask for my help or not. When people ask for my help because there's arguing on the side of the road, that's my job. Do you uh, understand? None of us asked for your help. You're fixing to go to jail for this. Sir, a do you have... Russell, where's your PSQ? Here's my question. Where, where's your ID? Uh, am I being con suspected yeah, of a I crime? Want your ID. What crime am I being suspected of? Because I've got a phone call about fighting on Saturday. What no fighting. crime fighting. have I committed? We're not fighting. What crime have I committed? I am an occupant. No, no, don't do what he says. He doesn't have jurisdiction over you. Whether you like it or not, that is the sheriff of Haskell County right there, Tim Turner. And as a result of you being in his county, he does have jurisdiction over you. So please keep up with your no victim, no crime mentality. Even though there's been a fight, police have been called, and now they're investigating the incident. So shut your damn soft hard mouth. No. Nobody has done anything wrong. Nobody's done anything wrong. Get! I gave it to you. I told you to put it in your wallet. Give it to him and ask him to fill it out right now. This is bullshit. I am not filling out anything, says the sheriff. Of course not. It's one of those damn sovereign citizen fee schedules that pop up from time to time. In this case, they're demanding silver coins. But who the hell has that many silver coins laying around these days? Then we're going. We're free to go? Are we free to go? Are we being arrested? We're being detained on what grounds? What grounds? Fill it out. And arguing they can't detain us on our They can't detain us. We weren't doing anything wrong. Let's go. Get the fucking truck. Get in the truck. Mr. Turner, we are not going anywhere except home. You don't have jurisdiction over us. You do not have jurisdiction. No, 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 no. Damn it. I want to see a witness. Provide a witness. Provide a witness. Who's the accuser? Who is the accuser? Who's the accuser? You don't have to do what he says. Yeah, and nobody wants to hear your tantrums either. So shut your damn mouth because your voice is like hearing Freddy Krueger's claws scratching a chalkboard. Nice hearing from you, Carlos. Oh, wait! I'll give him mine! 
Oh, give him mine. Oh, give him mine. You shut up. Don't you talk to me and tell me what to do. You don't have jurisdiction. Don't touch my automobile. You want my ID? Give him your paperwork. Here. Here. Well, yeah, they're not going to be interested in your fake sovereign citizen garbage. That's not the legal stuff, you moron. I mean, you don't have diplomatic immunity, no matter what kind of fairy tales those grifters have told you. Hair! 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 No, you don't. Hair! Russell! He's trying to get in the car and hurt me! Don't let him hurt me! Drew, record it! Record it! He's trying to hurt me! He's trying to hurt me! He's trying to hurt me! I'm in fear for my life! I am in fear! I am in fear for my life! I am in fear for my life! I'm in fear for my life! Tim Turner's trying to hurt me. Oh no, we got a crazy sovereign citizen, Karen, with a persecution complex and a nails on the chalkboard voice. What a disastrous combination we've got here. You may be able to convince your audience that you're in danger, but you're not convincing anybody important. You... Do not have a right to touch me, and I'm not touching the Republic. Now, if you want my ID, back up. Back away from the truck. Open the damn back door. Back away from my truck. Open the door. Sir, what is your name, Ford? What's your name and badge number? What's Mayor your name and badge number, Ford? Listen to me. Where's what your is your badge number? Where's your medical marijuana card at? What does that matter? Anything. Because I can smell marijuana in the vehicle. You're a liar. No, I'm not That's a liar. That's a lie. You want my ID? I'm fixing to have to use a You want my ID? Here. Don't touch me. Exit Don't you vehicle. touch me. Exit the vehicle. You check my ID first. Check my ID. If you break my window. Are you trying to get them to break your windows so you can file a frivolous lawsuit on them? Is that what your tactic here is? Because the doors are already open and they can get you out of there anytime they want without doing so. So I don't know what the point of this is anyway. You do not have a right to talk to me. Did he check my ID? I have diplomatic immunity. Buying a fake ID off a scam website does not grant you diplomatic immunity. In fact, all it does is make you look like a uh, complete idiot. And apparently this sovtard idiot doesn't even know how rights work either. This is an illegal stop. There is no injured party affidavit and there is no wedding signature of a judge. Nobody asked him to stop in this party. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. The sheriff was called out to investigate a uh, fight which may involve an injured party which is what you idiots always call for anyway and the affidavit comes later on and you don't need a judge for this investigation man these people are giving me a headache sir here these are my son's documents yeah, yeah, hang on to them. and i have a diplomatic community and paperwork as well hang on to tim them. turner came here threatening us there's no injured party affidavit signed under penalty of perjury, and there is no wedding signature for arrest warrant or a search warrant. Hey, Softar, do you know why that's the case? Because none of those documents are required when probable a cause exists. But of course, it would matter anyway if you present those papers to them. They would just move the goalposts and say they were fake. Russell! I'm not, I wasn't not letting him, but he didn't have a right to do what he did. He threatened us. Tim Turner threatened us. 
He came off the side of the road and said he had a phone call. I said, where's your uh, uh, accuser? I said, we're here minding our own business. Okay, and he started ripping our door open and everything else and threatening us. You're a liar. No, I'm not. I got it all on video right it's, here. It's well, now, the video does not lie. And in this case, the video caught the sheriff trying to open the door twice. He never attempted to break the window. He just walked off. And of course, now, she's going to contradict herself again by saying there was no fight. So let's carry on with the video. Hey, Tammy, here's the deal. She's got blood all over her arm. Oh, okay? really? So do I. Where's your blood at? Let me see it. Right there. There's no blood. Right there. Okay, so were y'all fighting? No, we were. I was protecting myself because okay. she came over the back side. Okay, so do you see why we're here, though, Tammy? No, because we didn't ask. You still have a duty to be here. No, you don't. Yes, I We do. didn't okay. ask you to be here. So here's my question to you, okay? Due to the fact that you and her are fighting and she has blood on her and you've got marks on you, I can take you both to jail for domestic violence. Well, I was defending myself, but I'm not pressing charges against her. You don't her. have to. The state of Oklahoma can. Well, I don't want charges pressed against her. Okay. Wait a second now. I thought you said that this sheriff didn't have any jurisdiction over you, and yet here you are trying to negotiate the charges with them. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Maybe deep down inside of you, you realize all this sovereign citizen stuff is nothing but a bunch of bullshit? So and me, I was okay. defending myself. So let me ask this so. question. Where's your license plate for your vehicle? I am under the Uniform Commercial that does, that, Code. That does not mean anything here in Oklahoma. Yes, it does. No, sir. No, yes, it does not. You don't know what the Constitution and the common law is? Apparently, these dumbasses don't seem to ever study anything that they spout off because... If they would, they would find out, well, they are indeed complete morons. Because the Uniform Commercial Code has nothing to do with the laws of the road. Man, these people are a bunch of freaking morons. Ma'am, do you understand the sheriff is one of the only constitutional officers in the United States of America? Um, the, sheriff? the Continental okay. Marshal so is a deal. federal marshal. Okay, so here's the And deal. the sheriff okay. is a sheriff. Will you listen to me? And under... Uh, what? Okay, okay, you're fixing to give us no option no. to use no. less lethal and get you out of here. Look, I have diplomatic immunity and I've done nothing wrong. There has been an altercation. I did not ask for your assistance. Now, know. you haven't spoken to the governor on my behalf. I don't need to. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, no, Karen. Uh, I'm sure the governor is a very busy man and doesn't have time to listen to the ramblings of a soft card moron like yourself. Because you know what? The world doesn't revolve around you. That's for damn sure right there. Now, run my ID. You'll find that there's nothing wrong with my ID. And, and that I've done nothing wrong. I was defending myself. If you've done nothing, then why are the sheriff's deputies out there? Are they also doing nothing? Look, look at my radio. You see that? I didn't do that from back here. I didn't do that. And I said I'm not pressing charges. And I was defending myself. We were actually working it out when Tim Turner showed up and started threatening us. I've got it on video. I've got it on video that Tim Turner threatened us. He, he came here and we told him he was not invited. That we were working it out ourselves. I feel threatened. I feel threatened by him. He grabbed my wrist and hurt my wrist. Your mouth is fixing to cause you to go to jail. No, I'm not going to go to jail. You will. You run my name. I don't have to, but I'm fixing to tell you that you're fixing to go to jail. I want you to know. It's better for you to be quiet. Do you understand me? If you can do that. Wow, she actually got 
quiet, but I'm sure it won't last very long because you know she loves the sound of her own voice, even though it sounds like Freddy Krueger's claws on a chalkboard. But wait, there's more. Her son is going to come along here in a moment and add his own stupidity to this whole scenario. We're not moving at all. Where's my ID? We're sitting right here. Where's my ID? As long as they want to watch. Give her ID. Here's your ID. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Chanel. How you doing? I'm awesome. I just don't understand how a federal constitution can be broke just now. Just stop. Just be quiet. Federal law. For him coming here, we have a fee schedule. Come on, come on. Our fee schedules. Perfect. Right here. Right there, yep. I got awesome. your fee schedule. How much is it for this right now? For them coming and intruding, probably 10,000 coins, silver coins. 10,000. 10,000 silver coins for this? Well, uh, I need that much for enduring your voice. I know, I know. I'm sure by now that joke is getting a bit old, but hey. We're going to work with it for a few more minutes until this video is over with. Under duress or coercion, 500 per hour. They made me give him his ID, so he yeah. owes me. I know, I know. It's, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to do the legal documents and get paid for today because they're not going to do that. And this is uh, kidnapping at this point, too, because we're being forced to stay here. Oh, who told us we have to stay? Tim Turner, because we don't have a tag on this vehicle. It's non commercial. It's not a commercial uh, vehicle. As if his mother wasn't dumb enough. Well, the apple certainly doesn't far fall from the tree because the son is even dumber than her. I mean, being detained at a scene like this is not kidnapping. Not to mention, you people keep on forgetting about the Tenth Amendment in the Constitution, which states that the, uh, States can create their own laws that are not covered in the Constitution, which, guess what? Traffic laws are not covered in the Constitution, so laws are created for the road by the states. Yep, it's okay. It's okay. He's letting us be. We're going to let him be. We're going to let him be, too. He needs to run my ID. Oh, he already did. Shut your door. Yeah, shut the door, babe. We can do that. Tim Turner threatened he was going to take my truck if he seen me drive off in it. I don't think so. You take my truck, it's going to cost you a hundred thousand at least in silver coins. And I'm a resident of the state of uh, Arizona. He has to contact the governor of Arizona before he can take this automobile. It belongs to the state, not me. How long are they going to sit here? Oh, damn it. What are we going to do? Well, you've already made the claim that the sheriff doesn't have any jurisdiction over you, so why don't you just drive off? Or could it be that you realize that your sovereign citizen BS is not entirely foolproof, so you're not going to take that chance and be put in prison uh, as a result of that? So it seems like that you're not fully confident in the sovereign citizen issues. Uh, maybe you should, uh, deconvert. Is that Tim Turner in there? Yeah, it is. Good old Timmy Turner. I'm gonna call them and tell him he's harassing me. I'm gonna do call it. 911. No, don't do that. He's harassing me. Well, he is, but... Well, put it on the docket. Is he the head sheriff? Oh. He's leaving now. I'm not gonna oh. be harassed. They're both leaving. They're gonna leave and not pull me over again. They're not gonna come near me again. Don't come near me again. Not my automobile. Not me. Not my family. Don't come near me. You got it, boys? Yeah, calling 911 on the sheriff. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to work out for you. You're dismissed. They're all leaving. Every one of them is leaving. Oh, he's coming back. Has he seen Russell wave? No, he's not. No, he's not. They're just creeping off. What say to Josh? These cops just told me I can't drive my vehicle because I'm using my national tag. Yeah, because we, we have a UCC 1308 tag that I made up two years ago I've been driving on. Is there any kind of defense on the website? And can he send you a link on Anna Von Reitz's website? Can he send you a link? You made up your own plate based upon the UCC? 
you are really a moron. Well, anyway, the video ends right here, so I don't know what else happened from here on out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.